Um, with a bit of time to reflect on Wednesday, has that done anything to change your opinion on whether this team is heading in the right direction as you, you thought it was? Um, no, I saw the same things, the things that the team did well and for sure also the things that we didn't do well why we lost the game. So that's what we discussed also today. What would your message be to those fans who, who maybe have lost faith that this project led by you is, is heading in the right direction? Because they saw last season also. That with the right conclusions, with the right attitude, with the right mentality, with the right spirit, things can change really fast. And we're working really hard on that with all the group to on the pitch about what to do, off the pitch what to do, and to know what this club is about and that uh, every loss is a is a drama, it's a really bad thing. That's what you need to live with, that what you need to embrace with, because because of that, you have also the good moments. And we're gonna continue working hard with, with all squads to have that in the minds and uh, and then to to break this these moments of yeah games that we were not good enough, that we didn't concede our goals and to get more consistency in, uh, in the good moments, which were there a few times, but not enough this season. What conversations have you had in the last couple of days with John Gilligan or, or members of the board as to how they feel about being nine points behind two rivals at this stage in the season? I didn't have uh, discussions about that. The last couple of weeks they've been really busy with uh, a lot of other things in the club. Philippe, just saying that you've not had discussions with the board we know that it's been a long-term project. There was the big squad overhaul in the summer. You got the new contract at the start of the season. How confident are you that the board, the people above you, will have faith in you, even if results don't turn around instantly? I'm very confident about that because that was also the really clear message to step in a, a story for for longer term. They knew everything about the numbers, about what was necessary, and. I don't want to repeat all these things. I think I said it enough. And what consequences it can have, and it's about small margins, like last season, taking those margins and, and making it better, better again. Um, last season, we turned it around in a, in a really short period in that way. I'm convinced that can happen now also. But of course, I, I wish it was uh, in Aberdeen that we took the, the victory there. Eh? That uh, would have been uh, the big step forward. We didn't manage to do that. Um, I saw a team that tried until the last second of the game and we had in the last minute also. The header with, uh, with Taf just next to the post. So it's not that the team don't want or they give up or, or anything like that. Um, so we're going to continue fighting to get the results our way and, and to make things better. What we And for sure more consistent to get more football that we saw against Malmö, against our Bucharest, those kind of games that we see it more regularly. So is that your, your message to the fans, like Gordon said, if anyone has lost faith, that just to stick with you and you believe you can turn it around quickly and, and, and very soon? Yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work really hard on that, yes. Yeah, I'm going to do the same as I did uh, last season and the same as I'm doing now. And I do a little bit more in the club than that moment because there are also a lot of other things to do. Um, but no, for sure, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident about that. I feel also how the team works, how they were in the meeting also today. It's also not a team that don't take responsibility. They took responsibility in things. Uh, the staff took responsibility, I take responsibility and we all go forward to, to make things better. Is there a difference though, Philippe, in the last season you had inherited a team that had fallen behind, whereas this season this is a body of, of your work? It's our work. It's, I never spoke in one year about it's my work or I've done something alone. It was always work together with the players, with the staff, with the board, with everybody. So it's work of all of us together. Philippe, based on what you've said then, do you feel secure in your position? I know which project I started in June. Uh, it was another project then I started in October. 
So those things were less clear. We had this talk in June that it was a really, really big challenge. That's why there were also neg negotiations about the contract and what to do in that way from both sides. And we're going we're gonna to continue working on that. Of course, uh, I have believe in all these people because it was all board together. It was not only one person. It was all board together going for this story because the story from before was not sustainable. They didn't want to go back to 2012 where the club was bankrupt. So there had to be a major turnaround in every sense. There had to be young players coming in. There had to be big cut of wages in the squad. There had to be a lot of transfers. We, wa we wanted maybe as a club more outgoing transfers, getting more money in to use that in the transfer market. That was not possible at the end. So the club knows from where it's coming from. It's now the start of a better period and it, you don't see it in results now. Yes, that's true, it's totally true. But there is a foundation now being built for, uh, for the future, for a more healthy club to grow out of that. And everybody knew it was not possible in one transfer window. Before you signed the contract in the summer, did you receive any assurances from the board that no matter what happened this season or no matter how bad performances and results perhaps were this season that your position would not be impacted? It's never about no matter what. It's about we know how difficult it will be and we're going to stick together and we're going to this project together for the next couple of years. So that's been clearly talked about. Of course, I know if you lose 10 games in a row and all the players, they don't want to work with you, then there's an environment that you cannot work to. But that's totally not the case. Philip, do you see the, the level of fight in the team that you'd like to see at the moment? I want to see more. <laughs> I want to see more. I want to see more. And those are the things we're working on. Those are the things we're talking about. You see it in moments. And you see it in the moments when it goes well. And that we need to turn around, that it's all the time there. Those are the basics. We discussed the basics, our principles, but the basics in that, that was also one of the strengths last season that this team had in the difficult moments to dig in and then to change around things. Now we've been good when we started good and we scored the, scored the first goal. We need to make this step as a group with all squad together. Because that's what this club needs. That's also what I've been talking about so many times last season and this season also, this mindset. Because that's a mindset I want to see. That's a mindset I live, I'm living in. Every time to turn around things. Well, well, you said some, at the beginning. Some criticism after the comments <coughs> you made after the Aberdeen defeat. How do you uh, reflect upon that now? And what, what's your which, response? Which comments? Because to be honest, I didn't read everything. Well, a, a, a lot of fans were questioning um, the the reasons for the, the defeat. For example, when you talked about a toenail offside, you talked about it being the, the best performance you had seen. No, but that's that's not totally true because now you're only talking about the things that were positive in that game or we could have that uh, about the toenail it's an important thing in a game in the momentum of a game if you're that close offside or not when you score a goal or not nobody can argue that that it's a decisive thing in that game if that was not the case it was a 2-2 so it's a decisive one I didn't say that everything was good that I was happy with how we get goals against or how we get chances against. I didn't say that totally. I didn't say also that it was a great performance. I didn't say it was the best performance. I gave also credit to Aberdeen, what they did. So there are several things that we can do much better and we need to do better to get more consistent results in that way. But we played also worse games like that this season. That's also the truth. And we need to get to a better consistent level, like we had a few times this season. I want to see that every three days, and for sure on the basics. And then you, you make faults, like every team makes faults, but our basics need to be solid all the time. So that's what I missed the moment. Two more guys. Philippe, you spoke last week about you know, the vacancies in the boardroom. They've had the major job. You're busier, you're having to do more things. 
it's been several months since the club's been without a chief executive. It's been a few months now that the club's been without a permanent chairman. Would you have expected those roles to be filled by now? And would that make your job of getting the team to perform better on the pitch? Would that make it easier for task for you? Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about that now. I want to talk about the sportive sides. That's my job to do. There were other things to fill in, or still needs to be filled in now. I'm giving my best to do everything every moment that I'm awake for this club in that way. And I know that the people in the club, they're working hard to solve all these questions. But you talked about that before. That's extra sport if there are other people to talk about. That. But when you came in, we were told you were a football obsessive. You spent 24 hours a day thinking about football. If I'm awake, yes. Yeah, in my sleep also, probably. And you're now at the point where you're saying we need to work harder. How much more can you give to get this project back on track? How much more of the as you in time? In time, not I think, but uh, it's it's not it's not about that. I want to do that. It's my passion, and I love this club. I knew what big challenge we would have. I could not say it out loud too much. The last couple of months, there are still things more clear after this week the number so I can put a little bit more context in that way and we're going to work hard to make this happen really fast and it's about taking these moments that's why I'm so disappointed after the Aberdeen game um, that we didn't grab those moments and those moments didn't fall our side if you speak about the toenail then that's not something my players did wrong in that way so that I wanted to emphasize in those moments that you need that part also in football. Because in the end, they did the right things. Cyril came out of an offside position to run onside. You cannot see if it's a toenail or not. And we did the right things to score the goal. That I wanted to say.